guys, this is Bish Reviews and welcome back to my channel. And today I'm back with another Barbie doll review. So before I begin with this video today, I want to wish you guys a happy new year 2020. So yeah, this year I hope you guys find all the Barbies and Disney storybook that you guys have been looking for. And also I hope that I can make as much videos and reviews for you guys. So yeah, happy new year 2020. Also, I would like to take this opportunity to give a shout out to one of my friends. So this friend of mine is from India and his name is Mihir Oja. So basically he is a fashion designer and he also makes really good dresses for Barbies, really good designs. Uh, I believe it's almost been a year that he has sent me a few of the dresses for my dolls that he made. So I have been looking for an opportunity to show you guys his designs but I never got to show them to you guys so today I thought that I would show you one of the dresses that he had sent me so let us look into it <laughs> Yeah, this is one of the very beautiful dresses that he has sent me, which he made. So I personally think for me that this is one of his best designs. I love how he has played with the colors. I believe he had dyed them himself, the ombre black with the white and stuff. So yeah, if you want to check his creations out, I have linked his Instagram down in the description below. Make sure you follow him and support him. He's a lovely designer and he's a lovely friend of mine. And then I'm going to begin with today's video. So on today's episode, I have this very gorgeous 2011 The Blonde Blonde Diamond Barbie doll. So yeah, I have been waiting for so long to have this doll and today I finally have her. So let's check her out today. So this gorgeous doll comes in this white box. So back in the days, uh, the collector doll used to come in either the black or the white box. So she is in the white one. So on top here, it says Barbie and white gloss, as you can see. And in the middle, it says the Blonde Blonde Diamond. And down here, it says Gold Label Collection. So at the bottom of the box, it says Barbie the Blonde Blonde Diamond. And it says the same thing on the top as well. On the sides, it's the plain white, as you can see, and then it's the same thing on the other side as well. So at the back of the box, as you can see, there are a few things written over there. On top here, it, we have the pictures of the blonde. Uh, I believe it's the same picture that we had for the Blonde Blonde Gold Barbie doll. And down there, it says the Blonde Blonde Diamond Barbie doll, and it says a few of the things about the doll. So if you want to read that, please pause the video. Um, down here it says no more than 5,100 worldwide. I believe it's much lesser than we had for the Blonde Blonde Gold doll. I think the gold one was 7,100 or something. Also it says barbiecollector.com and we have a few of the other things written over there. So if you want to read that, please pause the video. So let's take the cover off and see what the beautiful Barbie doll inside. So here is the cover off and oh my god. The doll is so beautiful. She is so much beautiful in person than she's coming on the camera. And they come with this clear dust cover thingy to protect her. So I'm gonna take that off and give you the better look. So here is her with the dust cover off. Oh my god, she sparkles too much. She sparkles too much than she's coming on the camera over here. So yeah, sadly I am not going to be deboxing her because you know I had a really bad experience with deboxing the blonde blonde gold Barbie doll so I do not want to experience the same thing but I'm going to be showing you the close-ups of her and her dress and everything and what she comes with. So she comes with a certificate of authenticity and oh my god it's in a really good condition so it's, she, it's in this clear pouch and it's taped from the behind. So the quality is really good. It says the Blonde Blonde Diamond Barbie doll. So if you want to read that, please pause the video. 
So she also comes with a model muse stand as you can see from the back. We It is the closed based one. Um, since I'm not deboxing her, I don't think I can take that out as well. So the doll has been packed in this very beautiful pink background. It's hot pink as you can see. And she stands on top of this transparent plastic stuff. So we will begin by looking into her gorgeous face. So she uses the Lara face sculpt, so did the Blonde Blonde Gold Barbie doll. So this Lara face sculpt is so beautiful on these dolls. Um, she has this very beautiful blue eyes and she has a silver eyeshadow on her eyelids as you can see. And she has really long attached, I mean stuck on eyelashes and the drawn on eyelashes are really long as well. And she uses the brownish gray kind of color for the smoky effect on her eyes. And on her brow bone, so she has this stuck on glitters as you can see, the silver glitters. And she has a really arched eyebrows which are grayish in color. And she has a really red lips which has that uh, silver shimmer going on if you can see in the camera. And also her cheeks are blushed and she looks really pretty. So as for her hair, she has this blonde hair which are the which are curled on the tips and they are gelled as you can see they are kind of stiff. So she is parted on her side and the hair is not that long but it looks really beautiful on her. So as for her accessories, she has been given this diamond earring or ear top I would say. Um, it's really nice. It is complementing the dress. Also, she has been given this bracelet as you can see. The big bracelet has a very big diamond stone stuck onto it. And it looks really nice on her. And she also has this very big ring with her, which has a diamond in it. So before I go into her dress, I want to talk about her body. So she uses the Modern Muse body, which has her right hand on her hips and left hand is straight. And her left leg is bent. And also her fingers are manicured as you can see. She has those nude nail polish. So it's on both of her hands. I do not know if her toenails are painted, but I believe they might be. So as for her dress, so she wears this very beautiful corset. So the corset is kind of metallic, but it's not metal. It's made out of plastic. And it has almost like, I believe there's nine diamond stones stuck onto it. As you can see, it's really shimmery. So the other stones are not totally diamond, as you can see over there. It's uh, the plastic molds, but there are nine of the real diamond stones. So, so they're not real, real diamond, but they are diamond stones. So yeah, you can see that. So it has that border lining up there on her cleavage area. It looks really beautiful. And it also has that border lining on the bottom of the dress. So to complement her corset, they have given her this very big, very long white furry faux fur jacket. As you can see, it's really nice. It's really, it looks really fluffy. So the inside of the fur has the pink lining. As you can see, it's the same as the background of her. If not a little more reddish, I would say. So yeah, I, I'm really bummed that I can't show you guys taking her out of the box, but you know, I really do want to take do that and regret that later. So yeah, as for the shoes, she has this pump, which has, you know, silver glitter stuck on them. I believe they are the same pumps that I used to show on my restyle reviews. And also, as you can see, the platform, the base has the pink uh, color, as you can see on one of those heels. So yeah, they're simple pumps, but they have the glitter stuck onto them and it kind of looks really nice. I mean, this doll has been accessorized very minimal and has very minimum to talk about, but she looks really gorgeous. I mean, I just love how they have designed her. So here's my review to the very gorgeous 2011 The Blonde's Blonde Diamond Barbie doll. So if I have to recommend this doll, I would say yes, go for it, definitely. But she sells for a really high price now on eBay. I think she goes around like 250 and 300 and up. So it's it's hard to find her in like her original price, which was like $150 back then. So I do have both of the dolls now, as you can see. So I've already done the review on this blonde, blonde gold Barbie doll. So if you have not checked it out, I have the link in the description below. Make sure you check them. So if you guys have any questions, please hit the comment section below. Please do like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I really love you guys love and support out there as well. So yeah, until the next video, thank you so much for watching.